Good morning, Vietnam! Yo, what is good, fellow programmers? Hey everyone, and welcome back to FTC Team 18172 Uplift Robotics Tutorial Series. Hello, my name is Matthew. I'm Devin. And I'm also Matthew, and today we're going to be talking about the basics of encoders in FTC Robotics. So what is an encoder? An encoder is a device that is attached to a wheel that senses how far that wheel has rotated. It uses a certain number of ticks and then it sends that, those number of ticks to the rev hub. Uh, different encoders have a different number of ticks per rotation. Why would you use it in FTC Robotics? Well, it helps count and control how long the motor will run for. Um, a conversion between inches traveled encoder ticks can be created to allow for easy auto programming. Um, when using an encoder, wheels. Encoders can be valuable in the fact that they will show how far the robot has moved. Um, now in FTC, you, you use it for odometry, and you can use it in auto to help program, and then you can also use it in teleop to see if an encoder is working by testing it out. Now let's move on to the code in Android Studio. Okay, so now we're in the code in Android Studio, and this is our basic autonomous class from a previous video. So first thing we're going to do is set all the motors to a run mode called run using encoders. And we'll use the code that we have here that says robot.leftfront.setmode dcmotor.runmode.run using encoder. And we'll do that for every single motor we have. Then we'll do the wait for start function. And now we'll move on to a method that we made called move distance that takes in a double power and an int for distance and that'll just basically move the robot a certain number of encoder ticks so as uh matthew said we created a method here with called move distance that takes in uh the motor power and the uh, distance you want to go so basically in the beginning we have this stop and reset encoder mode this is basically just resetting the encoders to go to zero so that you can set a distance that you want to go uh, from zero. And then this right here is just, uh, it's basically it's setting a variable so that when it, whatever distance you input, it will tell the motors to go to that position. And this mode will take it to that position right here. And um, we inputted this move forward which is this method over here, which basically gives all these motors a certain speed to go at. And uh, that's what this double power is here for, so that it can set the power to all those motors when you're moving a certain amount of encoder ticks. Um, this while loop right here, where it says is busy for each um, motor, is basically saying it, it will stay true as the uh, motor is approaching the distance that you required distance that you want to go but once it reaches that distance it will leave the while loop and stop the motor which it says right here and then it will just go back to run using encoders like it was up before so now we have to actually call the method move distance so in our while op mode is active we're going to type in move distance we'll give it a power of one and then a distance of 1,440, which is the number of ticks in a Tetrix encoder, which are one of the uh, more common encoders. So this will move the each motor one rotation. But later on, you could change it so that you convert the number of ticks to inches or feet on the field to make it easier to program. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below and we'll try and answer them as quick as possible. And we have all of our social media links in the description below and links to other videos like our CAD series at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. See ya!